Back by popular demand, folks. Guess what? Today, we're doing gumbo style collard greens. Let's get it. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Let's start with our smoked turkey leg. Now you guys can use a smoked turkey leg, any of the smoked turkey parts, however you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my chicken broth to it. The reason I'm doing this, look, because what we want to do is we want to soften this up a little bit, give this a head start. So I'm going to take this, put this on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then set up a simmer. This is my celery. You know, I cut that off the bottom. I take the celery, right? And then I go ahead and just cut this down the middle. Okay, so look at the size. That part's important too. Like I said, I'm not doing a dice. A fine dice is more of a, a chop when it comes to the celery. Okay, so when it comes to your onion, I keep it real basic. And this is easy right here, right? So look, if I take it and I just cut it like this, I'll go ahead and peel it just out of outer layer. But I like to do it this way. Okay, so look, you can see how to cut down my veggies, right? You see the size? This is all we need, right? So now, I done started building up a little heat into my pan. I'm taking my oil. We're finna put this in the inside right now, right? We just wanna get this nice and hot. I'm waiting for it to start to ripple. Okay, so I can see my oil is ready. This is my flour. I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding this in here like this. You know what? Since I've been making these videos, the way I was taught was just a little bit at a time, right? But I done been told by some real certified chefs, just go ahead and put it all in there, make sure you keep it moving, and it'll turn out fine. Okay, so what I wanna let you guys know is, look, I'm going with like a, a medium, I'm gonna say it's like, I don't know, a little bit more than a medium flame, right? You know what I mean? I don't wanna go too high. But I was just told, and I, you know, I hadn't tried it a couple of times, and now I feel comfortable telling everybody, for those of you guys that are experienced with, you know, making a roux, if you turn the heat up and you constantly keep it moving like the way I'm trying to teach you guys, you know what I mean, uh, you can go ahead and make your roux and cut your time down. The key is just don't let it sit on the bottom, right? So what I'm looking for is like a little bit of a darker color. You know what I mean? We don't want to get the, the complete color off the back, right? We want to get it close, and then we start adding our veggies to it, and that way it'll still continue to cook, and then we'll have that magic, right? Now listen, while we letting this go, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little bit more of a stir, you know what I mean? Because we want to stay on top of it, right? Because I got a little bit of a high flame, a little bit higher than normal, right? So as I'm doing this, we multitasking, you know? So just keep it going. Now I'm a chain, I'm gonna give up my whisk, you guys know that I love these little bamboo or wooden, you know, uh, square edge spoons. This is what I like. You keep moving this around like this, and this will get it. Be careful not to like just, you know, splash it around because this stuff is hot right here. Making a roux, I'm telling you, you'll burn yourself, All right? So I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna come over here. Now this is andouille, chicken andouille, right? So I'm just gonna cut these down just like you see. Okay, so you see this color that I got right here? This is fine for me to go ahead and start adding my veggies, right? You remember the onions we put in there? Don't worry about them, I just put them in here like that. Be careful, I don't just drop them in, because don't forget, onions are full of nothing but, you know, water, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with my celery, really just the rest of my veggies, you know? Okay, so look, I want you guys to pay attention to the color of the roux. Remember, we started adding our veggies, but we still cooking the roux down. So it's still gonna continue to darken up. And it's gonna soften up the veggies the way we like. You know what, this is not a whole lot of work, you guys. I hope you guys take the time to make this. I mean, when you wanna show out and do something like that, that's what, you know, you wanna do something and level up. You know what I mean? You wanna change up to just regular, everyday old uh, collard greens. You make these right here then. And you tell me what they say. And then for your garlic, just go ahead, smash them, throw them inside. Then we go back to just, you know, keep moving it around. Don't let, let, don't let none of your roux or your veggies just sit on the bottom, right? And don't forget, we quartered our onions, right? You see how they just start breaking up and just making them layers like that? That's what you want, folks. That way when you get yourself a, a ladle full or however you guys get it, mm, this right here is fire. And then look, now we're gonna go ahead and add our andouille sausage. Remember, this is chicken andouille, folks. If you guys get the luxury of getting this, this right here has got huge flavor. I don't know if I show it like this, but you guys should be able to see that. You see that right there? Look at all of that. 
That ain't nothing but just over the top flavor. Now we're gonna go ahead and just start adding our seasoning in here. You see this right here? See that Creole kick? This is my secret right here. So I'll go ahead and add about a tablespoon of that in here. Now we're gonna mix this up. So here we go. Remember we was boiling that? We start giving that a head start, right? That's just drum. You know what I mean? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take this, right? We're gonna put this in here just like this. All right? Don't trip. We're gonna take our broth, and guess what, folks? We're finna pour this in. Okay, so what I did was I put a lid on the top, right? Because I want to capture and keep all of my steam in the inside. Once I get to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down and keep it at about a medium. So what I'm doing is I'm multitasking. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how I cut them. I don't know how you guys do them, but you can do them like this. Take them, just break them. I know from some of you guys down there in that deep south, y'all probably just say, hey, after you do that, just cut them down and they're like little one inch pieces and put them in there also. But most people I know, we just like do them like this and then we just stack them up like that, right? Look, I'm gonna roll them this way. You wanna roll them kind of tight. You'll hear them kind of like cracking or whatever, but just go ahead and run them like this. It's up to you how big you want to, you know, cut yours, right? This is how I do mine. I have my auntie over here, Auntie Chef Lorius. You know what I mean? She cuts hers a little bit, a little bit finer. You know what I mean? But for me, I don't know. I think her influence that rubbed off on me. You know what I mean? But I do them like this and I just stage them here. Now, look, I'm gonna give a pro tip. This is nice and hot, right? You see how my hand, my arm is over here, like my forearm? This right here, if I break this and pull it, this will leave a nasty, you know, steam burn. So when you break it, you wanna break it away. You know, you know, come out like that, and now you do this. All right, so now, just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. I can see this, look, it's starting to, you know, get really, really soft. Remember, we gave it a head start, right? Don't forget, this little outer skin right here that was like smoked, it tightens up and all of that. That's why we did what we did. You wanna go ahead and start introducing your greens. I don't know how you guys do them. Some people like to do them with a little bit of, uh, you know, chicken stock or whatever you're using, you know, for the bottom and kind of like steam them. But for me, I like them like this. And I just move them, get them soaked, you know, get them nice and soaked. See how small that is? Now I just take this, add the rest. Okay, so you guys looking down inside of this right here, you see I got like a little real small, you know, simmer, like a light, light boil. That's what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the top. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this probably in about, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go about 40 minutes and then we'll take a look, right? And after that, then we'll make it determine how far, how much further we go. And I'm gonna check that smoked sausage because that's gonna be the meat. I went 40 minutes, right? I took a look at it and I decided to let it go a little bit longer, so I went one hour, right? Don't forget we gave that drum, you know, a head start. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up. You know what I mean? So you can see I got all of that, all of the meat off. It's all inside of there. And I ain't gonna lie to you, check it out. If you guys can't see this, I don't know, something wrong. You gotta talk to me down in the comment section below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my ladle and we finna go ahead and put some in this bowl right here. And mm. But you see that onion in there? Ooh. Put some of this in here because when you say pot liquor this is the ultimate gumbo style okay folks so listen you didn't seen this in the inside you saw what it looks like here it is up close and personal and i gotta ask you this if you did not know about gumbo greens I'm so sorry you not you haven't been exposed to it, you know, earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up right here. Oh man. 
when you talk about the integrity and look at the thickness of it. Come here, look at take, take a look at this right here. You know what I mean? Look, it's just not liquidy like everybody would think, like pot liquor. Just got like a little bit of, you know, thickness to it. Got a little bit of that turkey. Ooh, my goodness. And this is the way I like my greens. All right, with that being said, forgive my voice getting all deep and all of that. Listen, because my mouth is water. Cheers, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> I really don't know how to even really describe it. You know what I mean? I talk a lot about collars, but this is the way. If you want to take the extra step, go ahead and make that roux and then, you know, do them like this. And I just got to let you know, I saved this little piece right here. You see that right there? That's that smoked turkey. That's all me. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys like this type of content. You know what I mean? Let me know when you try this. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Hey, and with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? You know how I do. I'm out. Peace. I hope you guys like this type of content, right? Listen, if you want to check out myself, Pat Neely, and other great chefs, I want you guys to go by and check out the Grilling TV Network. Go to the page, scroll down, find your favorite chef, and watch them.